Dr. Jaffe, can you shed light on nitric oxide and whether or not it can be used effectively as a supplement? Well, building nitric oxide in the body, or NOx as it's abbreviated in many scientific reports, is a very important observation. In fact, a few years ago, they gave the originating scientist the Nobel Prize for elucidating nitric oxide. Since then, people have been looking for nitric oxide supplements, mostly uh, without uh, finding what they're looking for. Traditional diets contain foods like salsas or um, sauces or curries or the spices that go into chilies or certain of the freshly blended green drinks. <clears throat> you can use foods that in healthy human beings generate nitric oxide. In fact, we had a scientist come by about a year or so ago from Ireland, and his whole scientific career is about generating healthy levels of nitric oxide at the molecular level, at the arteriolar level, at the tiniest microvascular level, because that's where you need the nitric oxide. So there are chemicals <clears throat> that in the human body become nitric oxide. But that doesn't mean you get nitric oxide to the tiniest blood vessels, to the tiniest cellular level, which is where it's needed. So nitric oxide is in vogue. Uh, nitric oxide can be enhanced by dietary choices, mostly the kinds of fermented foods and or condiments that are made with herbs, and one of the GGOBE, garlic, ginger, onions, brassica, sprouts, and eggs, and something else as a source of carotenoids, that could be tomatoes, it could be any colorful sourced food, because that milieu, that environment, is what the body uses to make healthy nitric oxide where it needs, in the amounts it needs it, and at the time that it's needed. So nitric oxide is a good example of something very important in human nutrition that's been rediscovered recently and now people are trying to flood the body with nitric oxide when physiology before pharmacology says gosh <clears throat> you need nitric oxide where you need it when you need it in the location you need it for a very short period of time because it's really potent so as you can hear i am not a fan of making a nutraceutical into a pharmaceutical to flood the entire body with large amounts on the premise that if a little is good more must be better or if 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 a little is good at the time and place it's needed then i can give it to the whole body in large amounts and not have to be concerned well when you use pharmacology instead of physiology i do get concerned um, and i'm really glad you asked the question because you can raise your nitric oxide level through dietary choices, through following the LRA by ELISA Act plan, because when you improve transit time and digestion, when you have enough prebiotics, probiotics, and symbiotics, then you're much more efficient about your endogenous or internal production of nitric oxide uh, and its healthy use where and as needed.